So I'm out and about today. Uh, it's a few days after moving, about five days or a week after partridge season opened. So I got this new 20 gauge shotgun here. Bought this off my uncle. I've never fired a 20, uh, 20 gauge. I fired a 12 gauge, I fired a 410. But I needed a shotgun and uh, so I bought this one off of him. And I'm going to head back what used to be an old trail here behind the house and um, just see if we see some birds and uh, maybe some other wildlife. So my house is back that way. The trail's just off to the side over here, but I encountered a great big old hemlock tree right in front of me here. So this one here that I'm zooming into. There's two more down right there. I imagine you could mill those because they're not touching the ground. Although I'm sure I've read before that hemlock has a tendency to warp when you're cutting uh, planks out of it. But the biggest trees, so there's some balsams here like right in front of me. That's a, that's a good uh, oh, 10 inches circumference. But the biggest trees I've encountered are like this right here, are poplar trees. If you look way back up there. I honestly don't know if you could mill poplar, if it would be good for anything. Softwood poplar? I must be good for something, I don't know. I've got the same setup going here, kettle fountain, sugar bowl. I'm gonna fill this up and then turn on the kettle fountain and then do the session with the sugar bowl. Good evening spirits. It is actually about 10 o'clock at night. I'm gonna start doing a session here. Trees communicate with other living creatures in nature. Do trees feel pain? saw a tree into planks and then I used those planks to build a nice home, is the soul of the tree happy with that outcome? What's the best thing to make out of poplar trees? So Trigger and I did just scare up a partridge, but it didn't go up into a tree, it just flew off, so I'm not going to chase him. But I'm looking here, I just come across this one big old pine. That thing has to be two feet uh, diameter, no questions asked there. But there's only one. I think it'd be a shame to take that one down, but it's still nice to see it. See, I'm headed towards the hardwoods here. It's a little more open. Do the animals I hunt have a soul? Are their souls exactly like my soul? Can you use that phone there to get some energy and answer these questions? Go ahead and take that energy from the phone if you like. I got a little yes of goose pimples as I asked that question. How did that one old pine grow so big and yet it's all alone?
Welcome to Grant's video log, Optimal Frequency. So part of the video series that I want to do, I've done one already called Country Living, and uh, I'm on a journey here, folks. I'm taking you on the journey with me. I'm going to show you anything and everything that I don't like about this as I lean on this pipe and it moves. <laughs> I'm going to show you anything and everything about this house that I don't like. I'm going to take you along for the journey. So behind me actually I just got a load in here the big truck just came so brand new washer dryer or vice versa whichever is which brand new stove and down here brand new dishwasher which we bought the other day so 4600 bucks in appliances actually we got a new fridge coming but for now I have to live with the old noisy one because it won't be delivered till Friday should you buy the things that make you happy such as a new fridge if you can afford it do we decide before we come here how much money we will have throughout our lifetime? Why does money seem to matter so little to me? The money we have set aside to renovate this house, will it be enough? So we moved from our old house, we're in this house. I built back in, uh, what year was it, 2006? I built the addition on the back of this house myself. So these are some pictures that I have uh, that I took back then in 2006. It was quite an ambitious project. I think I was 30 years old at the time, had never built anything in my life. Uh, so I was quite naive, didn't realize it was going to be what it was, the journey of building this. I had some help along the way, of course. Here's Uncle Danny helping me with the cement. He was a cement guy, helped me do the flooring and all that. And uh, yeah, it was uh, quite the quite the challenge. Um, we were a lot younger then. Kids were pretty small. We were just living the high life, having fun. And uh, it was a journey. It cost me $20,000. Uh, for the materials plus like I say six months of my time here's Papa Mike I always talk about him he come over helped me fill in around the base and gave me lots of pointers throughout uh, on how to do this because he was very good at this type of thing and uh, yeah those were the days and um, you can see it took all summer to do that and then in the fall I was still working inside but uh, it progressed with help from some friends there's Max showing us his cheeks Gary and Les up there with me as we finished off the tie par. And then, of course, we finished up the siding. I don't like those stairs. We're going to be replacing those stairs. But, uh, hey, good thing the wife made the bed today. Lots of closet space that I put in here. But, I mean, it's pretty much finished. It is uh, freshly painted. Robin and I put three coats of paint in this room because we knew this is where we were starting. So you got... Uh, Two, two big closets in here, right? Lots of closet space. So over here we've got what used to be my daughter's room. Again, it's a decent sized room. And uh, it's pretty much finished as well. This room has not been painted, so I don't know what the last people were doing. They got half a black paint around the outside of that, half white, I don't know what they were doing. Who paints their baseboards uh, black? I don't know. So yeah, there's a really good sized closet in there as well. That goes up to the attic. So I'm fairly happy with the upstairs. I'm not happy with these, the actual stairwell. So this is, I put those stairs in, they were temporary or they were supposed to be temporary just for me to get up and down while I was doing construction. And lo and behold, 12 years later, they've kept them there. They were shitty old stairs, not even on the right angle. Whatever, I'm gonna to have to fix that. I'm gonna enclose that, I believe. Maybe put a door on this side going down. And the heat will be uh, run through the uh, ventilation system that's already here in the house through a blower system. 
what I did want to mention was, so you can see this basement is obviously not finished. And, um, well, the dungeon side over here, like I showed you the other day, is somewhat, pretty much finished. The tile stops there at the doorway. This, like I don't even know if the camera can pick it up, there's lots of black cobwebs in that up here. That's from this stove. So that is the same stove that we used to use here 12 years ago, but it used to be up in the main section of house over here because it was from the original house that was smaller, right? The plan was always to move the stove down here, which we have done, or sorry, they did after I moved. But I've been here less than two weeks now. I threw on a fire the other night and I said, holy Jesus, I opened the door and smoke pouring out of it. I said, that chimney needs to be cleaned. Well, not only did the chimney need to be cleaned, the damper on the stove was also blocking the airflow, so it wasn't drafting properly. So every time you open that door, look at there's some insulation up here, look at it, it's just black. So I mean, that was just around the outside of the house. Not a problem, that's easily replaced. How do you have a fire, open the door, go, oh geez, smoke's pouring in here, and not fix it? The entire house, from one end to the other, the walls are black. I could go like this and like you could leave like a streak in the freaking blackness. It's just dirty. And Robin and I are not dirty people. So we're scrubbing, we're cleaning, we're painting, we're doing all that. But I mean, it's just, it's so much work and we haven't had time. Um, so this is the journey. I want to try something we've never tried before and that's a multiple choice question. Were the people who lived here before, right before Robin and I moved in, were they A, dirty, B, clueless, C, uncaring, because they lived off the system, or D, all of the above? So step one, this bathroom, I'm going to, we'll get more into this bathroom later on. <laughs> it's pretty bad, okay? Um, this here used to be a little small bedroom. And we're just throwing some stuff in here for storage right now. But here is the hookups for the washer and dryer, right? And they've got an old cupboard on the wall here for some storage. Okay, so right here is the current bathroom and that's the bedroom. We're going to turn this into the new bathroom. We're going to take this wall, all this stuff out here, and make it part of the kitchen. So extend the kitchen over to here, have a nice island here, and a beautiful new kitchen. So that's a general idea of what I'm looking at. I got lots of uh, plans on the go here. That's just inside the house. So I mean, you're looking at, I don't know, for me and my uncle, we're going to start it. Um, it's probably going to be six months for us to do all the work. We're not uh, professional carpenters or anything like that, but uh, we can do, I did all the wiring and everything myself before, so uh, we can do pretty much anything and everything that needs to be done here at the house. And I'll take you along for the ride and I'll show you the before and the after. So that's why I'm documenting this. We look back and go, oh, it used to look like that. And it was kind of dirty. And now it's fabulous. That's the plan. Will I be happy with the end results if Uncle Glenn and I do all of the renovations? What is the most important upgrade that needs to be done to the house? Do you spirits have a message for me tonight? Thank you, spirits. Thank you, team. Love, peace, joy, and adventure to all of you. <laughs> Sending out the light. Hope you all have a very pleasant evening. We'll catch you all in the next video.